Sure. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. And uh, I think I'll just go over everything and then just okay. the, the basic things for the participants. And some of them Lauren has already mentioned that. Uh... Okay, so first of all, um, welcome to everyone to the Jet Skate Summer School. And we hope that you will have a good time here and learn things. Okay, uh, so now some logistics issues. Uh, so for, first of all, for the schedule, we will meet up to three hours each day during the 9 a.m. to noon U.S. Eastern time. And we will be alternating between lectures and hands-on sessions. And the session chairs will control the, the flow and also highlight questions for the lecturers. And uh, for the participants, please choose the sections that are most relevant for you to participate. Okay. Uh, now some more logistics. Uh, so regarding the where you can find information if you need it. So this is the Indigo page that you should be seeing uh, after you log into the, the Indigo. So on here you can see that there's a link to the agenda. There's the software setup instructions uh, that that's quite, uh, very important that you follow it and ask questions if, if something doesn't work. There's also a link to the Slack channel, which I'll talk about more later. And the link to the video conference, the Zoom room, uh, can be found here. Well, since all of you are here, I, I guess you find this already. There's also the guideline for participants that uh, it's the basic rules of how, how we want to operate. And please take a look if you haven't done so already. And if you do not see uh, this many links, uh, please first log in with the email you use in the registration form, or uh, you can email us and we can sort it out afterwards. Okay, and regarding Zoom, uh, please mute yourself unless instructed by the chairs. Uh, for example, if they ask you, or if you have a question and they indicate that it's time for you to ask a question, and please keep the camera off during the lectures. And uh, as Lauren mentioned, we will be recording the sessions and the recordings will be linked to the agenda once we've done processing them. So we're trying, we will try to do it within a day or if it slips, then maybe the two days after, after the session. Okay, and then uh, at the end of the today, we will try to do a kind of group photo collage using Zoom screen screenshots. So at the end, after the session, uh, we will ask everyone to briefly turn on the camera and the organizers will take a screenshot of the Zoom room. And uh, one thing I want to mention is that this is completely voluntary. And if you do not feel comfortable, open, turn on the camera, don't feel pressure. It's, if you want to, then Great, if not, that, that's fine also. Okay, and then regarding asking questions. Uh, so the preferred way to ask questions, uh, as Lauren uh, mentioned, is through the Slack space. Uh, so if you haven't joined it, please join it now. And there will be a channel for each session. And the Instructors and chairs will monitor the channel and provide uh, feedbacks or raise the question to the lecturer. And if you have a very similar questions to some, some question that's raised by others, you can use a thumbs up reaction to indicate that you also have this question. And then we can deal with that earlier. And you can also ask questions in the Zoom chat, but since uh, it's a little bit harder to monitor that and there is a chance that it might get ignored because if too many people type in chat, then it gets out of control very easily. So to ensure that it's, it's people can, can see it even after school, then asking in the Slack is preferred. Another way to ask question is you can raise hand uh, in, in Zoom and then the chair will ask you to unmute yourself when he, he or she thinks it's appropriate. Okay, now regarding Slack channels, um, once you join it, you can you see that this is the sidebar. And there are 
different channels uh, of interest here. Uh, there's the general channel, which is for general school issues. No, that's not linked to any sessions. And then there are channels for different sessions. You can see here, labeled by the date and the topic. And also for software issues, as Lauren uh, mentioned, there is the software install problems channel that you can ask there. And we'll be helping you to, to sort out the problem. And in case you do not see all these channels, uh, you can click the plus sign here to, to see all the available channels. Okay, and then uh, for people who are not familiar with Slack, um, so this is basically this is how you, you can uh, add reaction to it. Uh, so you click on, on this uh, symbol here and then you will show up all the, all the emojis that you can use. And then uh, if you want to reply uh, to a question or a discussion, then click this button here and then it will pop up and let, let you reply directly in the thread. Okay. Now uh, for this school, uh, we uh, try to have a cooperative environment, which means that uh, we encourage people to help each other. So if you look in the Slack and you see a question being asked that you know the answer of, uh, please do not hesitate to answer uh, them yourself directly. And uh, uh, on the other hand, if you ask a question and some other participants helped you, uh, please also take a no note of that. Uh, and at the end of the school, we'll open a poll at the end uh, to choose the most helpful participants. It, it will be a vote. And we will uh, have some prize after the school for uh, the most helpful ones. So uh, please consider helping out each other if you can. Okay, and there will also sometimes be uh, in lecture polls. So the lecturer might ask uh, real-time questions and poll uh, you guys for real-time responses. And in this case, uh, the response can be found here. So if you look at the, the Zoom, there's a reactions here and then uh, all the response can be found here. And when that happens, please choose the proper response from the from this button so that the lecturer knows uh, if he or she needs to explain something further or not, and, and so on. Okay, and regarding feedback, there are two feedback mechanisms to the school. First of all, there is a suggestion box. Uh, this is an an anonymous suggestion box that you can also leave your name there, but it's not enforced. So for anything the general about school, you can leave a suggestion here and we will take a look. And after you're done with all the sessions you plan to join, uh, hopefully all of them, uh, there's also a survey about a school here that uh, please also fill it out so that we know uh, where we can improve further for the next year's school. Okay, and before I end, I would like to say a big thank you for all the instructors, TNs, and chairs for helping out and for all the participants to, to join and, uh, and, and learn in, in this stress phase pool. Okay, so any questions or, or comments by anyone? Uh, I hope people can still hear me. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, I guess everything is clear. So um, then I would suggest without further ado, I will turn it back to the, to the chair and then we can start the first session. Okay, Yi, th thank you for a very a well organized and comprehensive introduction. So, um, our speaker today, uh, doing the workshop.